YouTube is broken. What's up guys, it's Blonde Tiger, and before I start this video, or this rant YouTube video thing, uh, I'm just gonna say I'm sorry for not recording, uh, I've just, I just haven't been feeling like recording anything lately, and, I don't know, I, I, I've got, I got it back, and it's, it's recently been because of some thing, some other people that other YouTubers have said, like PewDiePie or something like that. They've said something. I, I've gotten into the mood again. You know, I just I've gotten into the feeling that I want to do YouTube now, and um, I think that's a big big part of doing YouTube. You have to feel feel it, and if you really don't feel it, then you don't really have a point in doing YouTube. Just like if you're just doing it because you want to, you want this certain thing. You have to kind of enjoy doing it and want to do it um also um i have two cameras recording just in case one of them fails so it's gonna be i might be looking back i bought a new mic and i'm setting up all this new stuff and i would actually have a new pc right now but like i built it but the ram hasn't even come in yet and that's kind of a crucial part in building a pc you have to have a, you have to have your RAM. I am planning on having some series come up in the future, like uh, like Outlast, and then there's uh, Murder Soul Suspect, and then Titanfall 2, which I am incredibly ex excited about that campaign. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play that for the channel. Um, I'm actually gonna try to complete these this time, um, like from start to finish, and. I'm not going to do it this time because I I don't I'm not completely revamping my channel yet and bringing it up until I get my new PC. So to the point of the video, everyone's everyone's been talking about YouTube lately and saying that they've changed something in the you know algorithm. Which whether they have or not, I don't know for sure. But YouTube says that they didn't do it. So I'm gonna go with YouTube's answer, okay? Because hear me out, all right? Maybe YouTube didn't change the algorithm. Maybe that's not the answer. Maybe the answer is actually you guys and me. <laughs> For example, before I used to have, there used to be a limit to subscribers. If you if you didn't know that, I don't know if it's still a thing or not, but I'm, I've hit the limit because I like to subscribe to people's channels. And like a couple years ago, it was like a limit at 2,000. At 2,000 subs, you you stop, or 2,000 people you sub to, you stop, and you couldn't sub anymore. Um, but now for some, I can sub to more people, and it seems like I can sub to whoever I want. I think the problem is that there's so many people on YouTube now, like including people like me and smaller channels, that it's people will sub to them. But there's so many channels that it's hard to get everyone's vi videos recommended and into the recommended thing so you're not going to see their videos um, and also it doesn't really help whenever people like PewDiePie and stuff are telling people to turn on their recommendations because they're big name brands and then like if you turn on your recommendations for smaller youtubers then you'll you'll know about them you know like for example if you have if you're subscribed to me and then there's PewDiePie I just want to use him because he's the biggest example there is PewDiePie you you know his name. Everyone knows him basically, and you can type it in and whatever you can remember him. But you're not really gonna remember a small channel like me. So you know it's, it's kind of that's kind of what I see as the term post notifications on button thing. And um and basically it's like there's so many people on YouTube that it's hard for them to do that. And I think the problem is that they haven't changed their algorithm. Uh, YouTube, I think they need to change the algorithm, and I think that's the problem because they they don't know how to handle the like the mass majority of creators. There's probably like a billion channels on, on there, um, and that's a lot of creators, you know, and a lot of people to sort through. So no, not everyone's going to be on the recommended thing. They're trying with watch time because they want people to watch it. Yeah. Um, I've seen theories on, on that, but really I just think when it comes down to it that the more people you subscribe to then the more the more it's going to take away from others like if like because 
you know, YouTube will recommend what you watch most often. So, I, if I watch YouTuber, like a small YouTuber called OG Chan, because he's one of my favorite, my, my favorite small YouTubers, and, uh, well, in general, one of my favorite YouTubers, and then I watch PewDiePie, and then I watch OG Chan more often, then they're going to recommend him more, and not PewDiePie as much, or something, or, yeah. And, um, PewDiePie has said, uh, before that it doesn't affect him that much, because he's so big, you know, it doesn't really affect him that much, but, yeah, and, like, that's where I'm coming from, like, it affects the bigger ones, it affects the smaller ones more, the smaller channels more, because they have, they only have, like, a certain amount of, uh, they have a certain amount of subscribers, they don't have a big, a vast majority, and they don't have a big name for themselves and stuff, so people aren't going to be searching them most often, and whenever people watch more of PewDiePie and stuff, it takes away from their view count. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's basically my basically my whole theory over it. Uh, I, I probably switched cameras in here because this one up here is lagging. So um, yeah, my suggestion to them would be to have a whole page dedica dedicated to who you're subscribed to, and then to have a another tab here and to your recommended in your home thing. So, yeah, I mean, they, I know they have the subscription thing now, but then you have to, like, go through all this stuff, and I don't I think the way they had the subscriptions right now is unorganized, and not very, like, not, not the best. I think how they should do it is how they have the home screen categorized, and then they do it like that, their subscriptions and stuff. So you can see, like, PewDiePie's channel, and then, uh, reasons of OG John's channel, and then region, reasons of Markiplier, or whatever, whoever you watch. Yeah. Lawn Tiger. <laughs> Can we get five likes? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I like big butts and I cannot lie. Like, I like my view count now and I'm proud of it. So I have 150 subs around and um, if I get thir and I get 30 views every video, which really doesn't seem like that much, but I looked into it more and really I would get around 150 views a month to 300 views a month. Which is actually really good, I think, because especially because Markiplier, who has 15 million subs, and only gets around 15 million views a month, you know, he doesn't always get the 15 million every view, so or every video, so yeah, I feel good about that. Um, <coughs> so if you're a small YouTube channel out there, don't feel bad about how your views are. You just, you, it's it's common thing, and you're not always going to get all of the viewers because of how, because of how YouTube is set up and how there's bigger YouTubers and more people want to spend more of their time because there's only a certain amount of time in the day watching bigger YouTubers and being entertained by them. Sometimes they'll forget about you because I, I know I've forgotten about, forgotten some of the smaller YouTube channels I'm sub to. I hope you enjoyed my first video back and doing a uh, rant on YouTube again. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Y'all want to do. If you like to punch that like button right in the face, like a boss, and then punch it again for no good reason. <laughs>